hello this is Vic welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today I am in the spectacular Greek island of Santorini and I'm visiting a very special very historic place probably one of the most important historic sites here in Greece now for those of you that have been to Naples and have visited Pompeii you know that Pompeii has been preserved because of the uh, explosion of Vesuvius and all the ash covered the whole town and thus it preserved it uh, throughout the centuries. Well, there's another place here in Greece which is almost exactly the same. The difference is there are 17 centuries uh, difference between Pompeii and Akrotiri, where I am right now. The volcano here in Santorini exploded in around 1700 BC, 17 centuries before Christ, and it covered this beautiful, very important uh, town here in Greece in the island of Santorini and it has preserved it. Now since the 1960s there have been a lot of excavations that are still going on and I'm gonna take you on and show you how beautiful it is, how well preserved it is. I mean there are uh, houses here that are three stories high. Now the Greeks over the last few years have uh, covered this very important site with a state-of-the-art roof as you're going to see and uh come on let's go i can't wait to walk around this magnificent place come on i'll show you around let's go what you're looking at uh, right ahead of us is the famous staircase that apparently was leading up to a uh a floor above but uh, let's look at the steps because that's important you look at the steps and you can see they are very made out of uh, very thick marble or stone and they are cut in half. They will show you a very good idea regarding the intensity of the earthquake caused by the explosion of the volcano here in uh, Santorini. Look at that. It would take a force of probably over 7.0 Richter on the Richter scale to cause this damage. Here's a general overview. This is, we're almost at the center. You can see houses everywhere. The whole site is beautifully preserved. Just keep in mind that this site was covered by ash 37 centuries ago and it preserved life as it was that long ago. Now behind me and around me, you're gonna see uh, three-story houses, very well maintained. Now what the Greeks have done here is they shut the site down in 2004. That's because the roof collapsed and it killed a few tourists and uh, they reopened it in 2011 during those seven years they constructed roadways or pathways around the site so you cannot go into the houses anymore the way we did back in 1988 you're not allowed to touch and they also what they did is they provided support to all the buildings you're going to see in a few of the buildings as i walk around uh columns supporting the buildings thus preserving them for the next uh, uh generations and centuries i'm very very impressed but let's continue our tour
What you're looking at here is the uh, storage room, one of the most remarkable, the more uh, fascinating buildings here at Akrotiri. Right there in the distance you will see a couple of huge clay jars and there's quite a few around. Right there against the wall you will see some of them still uh, almost glued to the wall from the ashes from the volcano and uh, of course this was used for uh, uh, by people that were uh, involved in the food production because there was uh, food when they were discovered back in the 1960s probably one of the most photographed uh, rooms here at Akrotiri now back in the 1980s incredibly enough we were able to walk in there and now we uh, can only stand about five meters away on a platform. And, uh, and here's another view of the storage room from, the, uh, from another platform, from another angle. You can see how extensive this area is at Akrotiri. You can also see how crowded it is, how popular it is. Right there. That's a beautiful view of it. Now, if you really want to see some of these beautiful clay jars, the most beautiful specimens, what happened is uh, the Greeks built a beautiful museum at downtown Fira, which is the capital of Santorini, and it's called the Museum of Prehistoric Thera. And that's where they removed most of the findings from here in Akrotiri. And, uh, watch for that uh, video in my channel and you're going to see what I'm uh, talking about. All the most beautiful specimens, very beautifully displayed over at their brand new uh, museum here in Santorini. I'm really glad to see a site like this preserved and uh, maintained as well as it is here in Greece, in the island of Santorini. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, what I'm really wondering is what happens 
uh, where are the rest of the ruins? I mean, around the periphery of this uh, covered space, you can see walls going into the ground. So how far does it really extend? For a town that was uh, inhabited as early as 5000 BC, it must be absolutely huge. This is only a small portion of what has been uncovered. Are they going to excavate the rest of it? And what lies under the ground here? in uh, let's say the, the next two or three square miles around or square kilometers who knows we'll never know what we know is uh, it's a beautiful site it preserves how life was here in greece between 3000 bc and around 1700 bc when the volcano exploded it's absolutely beautiful